Hello everybody, welcome back to Norwich Talk for another transfer speculation type video, whatever the hell you want to call it. Um, I did one of these yesterday, we had a bit of a catch up on the uh, on the YouTube channel here. The video was about 16 minutes long, it was quite long, and within that we covered Josip Dermic, Max Ahrens, Puki, uh, Timmy Puki, Ben Godfrey, and of course Ryan Bennett. And, you know, it, it was good to sort of um, have a little catch up and give my thoughts on a few things, because there's been quite a lot of talk in terms of potential transfers to and from Norwich City, mostly from um, since Norwich actually signed Kieran Dowell. It's been mostly potential outgoings, so make sure you go and check that video out. The link will be in the description down below, as ever. As you can tell by the title of the video, we're here to chat about Alfie Mawson. Now, I've titled the video in a slightly different way this time, in terms of before, usually I'm sort of like Norwich set to sign qu uh, player question mark, whereas I'm, I, I don't think this one is incredibly likely or that likely, but at the same time, I want to answer the question, should Norwich City try and sign Alfie Mawson? Now, the short answer is yes, I do, um, and in this video, we're going to take the usual format of I'll sort of rattle through my notes that I have about him. Um, I've got quite a few in front of me so uh, buckle in, we're going to be here for quite some time or it could be potentially some time and then I'm going to talk about why Norwich City should sign him, um, what he would bring to Norwich and um, just sort of a general um, query into the Norwich City centre-back situation um, because it's a very interesting one. Um, there was a lot of debate last season obviously with the massive injury crisis in terms of this idea of once Norwich City can sort their defence out we could probably be um, a decent Premier League team but we're going into the Championship. I think this signing would be a brilliant one for Norwich City I think it would be a loan um, and I am filming this video before the playoff final which I think will affect their, their potential transfer but we'll get into that after we know a little bit more about him. So Alfie Mawson, um, I'll have my little notes next to me so you can sort of keep track of um, what, what I've said and um, I think that will be a nice little reference point throughout the video for us to keep looking back at. So what do we know about him? He's 26 years old, he's English, he's a centre back and he's 6 foot 2 um, that's everything we know about him physically and positionally um, and also the fact he's English so again another homegrown player could be good for Norwich City um, he spent his youth career at Brentford and he went out on loan to four clubs during that time now the most noticeable spell for him obviously was Wickham Wanderers um, that was his debut um, football league season in League 2 in the 14-15 season of which was a playoff season for um, for Wickham they lost in the playoff final to South End but again that is um, a pretty decent experience for someone who at the time would have been 20-21 years old he then signed for Barnsley and again played um in a playoff season this time it was in League One with Barnsley and they got promoted so um, he sort of um, buried a few demons there I can imagine and we know better than um, I say better than any fans better than fans who haven't won a playoff final how special winning a playoff final is um, imagine playing in it blimey that would be um, quite the feeling he then signed for Swansea and over the 16, 17, 17, 18 season he made a combined uh, 65 appearances for Swansea in the Premier League and for, again for a young player that is um, pretty incredible now I think Alfie Mawson's a name that we've always sort of known about because he's always been this um, English prospect. I certainly know, uh, knew who he was before him being linked to Norwich City within the media. I can't say I've really seen him play or noticed him too much. I just remember him being quite, sort of quite young and promising at Swansea. I think he was the club captain at, at one point as well. Um, after Fulham, uh, not Fulham, sorry, we'll get on to them in a minute. After Swansea got relegated from the Premier League in the 17-18 season, he then signed for Fulham for 20, well, a reported £20 million which is massive. Um, a transfer fee is often a burden on a player, I think because it you know creates a lot of pressure um, and we've seen how much pressure can affect players um, especially from a Norwich City perspective um, you know we, we know it better than anyone else don't we the, um, the the fact that pressure and sort of a tag on a player can often um, sort of cause them to crumble maybe or just you know increase um, the sort of challenge that they face at a new club but he signed for Fulham for a reported £20 million now this is where it gets a little bit interesting in the 18-19 season he missed 27 games because of injury um, he had surgery on his knee and that injury reoccurred the following season, so last season now technically in the 1920 season, where he um, he got injured again. I think he had surgery again. I don't know if it was the same knee or not, um, and he missed 10 games from January, and I think that sort of filled the gap between January and lockdown, and since lockdown he's missed four games, um, and according to the website I was looking at Transfer Market, it was just because of fitness. Um, but it's very interesting to me that he is struggling with injury, because the reason we want to sign another centre-back is because of injury, so perhaps that could be a factor to consider in terms of whether he'd be a good signing for Norwich City or not or a sensible one I think I'll go with um, instead so overall he's made 80 appearances in the Premier League which is brilliant um, he's got a 72% tackle 
success rate in the Premier League, which I think is pretty good because that almost boils down to a, a three and four um, sort of winning your tackles, which is is pretty good by my standards um, at the very least. Uh, and he's capped for England's under 21s. Now it's only six appearances, but playing and being recognised um, by your country at any level, as I keep saying in these videos, when a player has been capped for their country at any level, um, is always invaluable experience. And we know how difficult it is to get into England's under 23s or under 21s, whatever you want to call it, um, because you know England have a lot of youth prospects that often come through the ranks. Um, as you know, Alfie Mawson here is just an example of a player who has uh, captured his country. Now, that is all we know about Alfie, Alfie Mawson. Do I think it would be a good signing for Norwich City? Yeah, I really do. I think he'd be a brilliant signing for Norwich City. But at the same time, the things to consider are his recent injuries um, and the fact that Fulham paid £20 million for him. Now, I'm filming this video, I don't know if I mentioned it earlier or not, before the playoff final tonight, um, which sadly I won't be watching because I'll be watching Deer and play instead, um, which is arguably better because I'll be there in the flesh. Um... And it's Fulham beat Brentford, of course. Personally, I want Brentford to come up because I really like Brentford. Or I say come up, go up, because um, we're back down in the championship, aren't we? Um, because I'm a big fan of Brentford. I think they've sort of tinkered on promotion before. Um, although, from this sort of perspective, in terms of Alfie Mawson potentially joining Norwich, you'd want Fulham to go up. Because, you know, I was having a chat with Connor and we sort of concluded that if Fulham were to stay in the championship, it would be very unlikely that a player of this calibre, of this quality, would be loaned out to a rival. Um, because there's no doubt that Norwich City will be one of the favourites to bounce straight back up to the Premier League because teams who get relegated um, are often tipped to go straight back up the same way with the team who go up they're often tipped to go straight back down um, and I don't think that Fulham would give us Alfie Mawson unless we want to pay 25 uh, 20 million pounds from which we aren't going to do we know we aren't going to do because that is probably twice the budget Norwich City have to spend um, this summer transfer window but you know nonetheless ignore I say ignoring that looking away from that I think he'd be very good um, something worth remembering is that I don't think if we were to sign him, it would be a replacement for Ben Godfrey. I would very much sort of see it as an addition to the squad. Now, the thing is, with Norwich City centre-backs, for me, in the Championship, it's worth remembering. The quality is there. I think, undeniably, the quality is there. Tim Closer is a good Championship... Uh, championship. I say, I'd say top level championship defender Grant Hanley definitely is we know Christoph Zimmerman is we know Ben Godfrey is if he'll stay um, although we are uncertain of that um, you know especially we spoke about it in yesterday's video in terms of this idea his name is just being um, splattered all over Europe at the moment which is great for him personally um, but the quality is there for me and the issue has been injuries you look at Grant Hanley this season at the beginning of the season he was playing through a groin injury finally had surgery um, he then found a bit of form before lockdown didn't he of course then got injured again Christoph Zimmerman was injured beginning of the season um, he then came back got injured again after Sebastian Haller put in a, a disgusting challenge on him he then got injured um, I think it was he had a massive setback or another injury um, before lockdown or during lockdown so he couldn't then feature properly following the restart Tim Closer again did his ACL was out for uh, almost 12 months before playing again um, and also during his time at Norwich City which is I think coming up to five seasons now which is pretty bizarre because uh, I'd say he feels like a new player he doesn't he still doesn't feel like he's been here that long and for me that comes from the the fact that he's been injured so much now it's not a criticism by any means for me it's never a criticism that a player is injury prone I think it's very unfortunate um, I spoke about it on this channel before in terms of injuries in football especially when the player is very good um, and has a good attitude, is, is often a tragedy. You look at a player like Jack Wilshere, who on his day, now I know that term gets banded about a lot um, and has sort of lost his meaning, um, but on his day he was a really good player. You know, you look at, um, I think when he played against Barcelona or whenever that was, he was the best player on the pitch and ran the game and he was obviously meant to be Arsenal's next big thing, but he just couldn't play as regularly as he would have liked to have done because he kept getting injured. And for me, that's been the case with Tim Closer, for example, um, in terms of this idea that he can never get a proper run in the team because he just keeps getting injured um, you know that might have a little bit to do with his age as well I think he's 32 now um, but that would be why I would sign Alfie Mawson it wouldn't be sort of an insult to the existing quality within the um, the centre back region of Norwich City's team um, now if Norwich City was still in the Premier League I'd argue that Mawson would be um, an addition in terms of quality rather than this idea of injury because we've seen our defenders this year are they Premier League quality we don't really know I, I mean I don't think so they obviously aren't because they're playing in the Championship next season um, but it can be argued both ways really but I'll go with the idea that they aren't because I'm pretty sure that's sort of the easiest thing we can all agree on right now um but yeah, Alfie Mawson for me would be a good signing. Um, I, I would never see Norwich making a permanent one, as I mentioned. Um, I think it would very much be a loan. So in terms of the player final tonight, as I mentioned earlier, we want Fulham to win because I think that would probably increase the likelihood of Alfie Mawson being loaned to Norwich um, for a season, six months, whatever, um, however long it might be. Um, and I think the main thing to take from it 
is that it would be an addition. Um, it would be nice to see him come in and maybe form a partnership with Ben Godfrey, whatever. Um, but at the same time, a signing like this, um, obviously we're talking about Alfie Mawson, but on more of a wider point, um, I think Ben Godfrey might leave Norwich and it would be sensible for Norwich to sort of um, make their team sort of foolproof or, or uh, future-proof, whatever, you know, however you want to describe it, um, whatever terms you want to use. But I think Alfie Mawson would undeniably be um, a good addition, far better than Ryan Bennett, say, um, because one, he's four years young, Younger. And two, he's not got sort of a past um, at the club because the last time Ryan Bennett played for Norwich City, he wasn't good enough, which is why he was released. He didn't justify his wage. Um, but yeah, I, we spoke about Ryan Bennett in the video yesterday. Um, I wouldn't say no to Ryan to Ryan Bennett uh, coming back. I think he probably wants to come back because he lives here in Norfolk, doesn't he? Um, but at the same time, 30 years old, a little bit of a history at the club in terms of not being brilliant. Um I know he's developed since, and that has sort of been the argument about getting Ryan Bennett back in this idea that he's developed. But at the same time, say in sort of, um, I I'll say theoretically rather than sort of definitely, because it's definitely not the case. But say you could have Alfie Mawson on loan for a season, or you could have Ryan Bennett on a permanent deal for a two, three year deal, whatever, and you've got to pay a fee. You're going to choose Alfie Mawson every time. Um, and I think... If Fulham went up, do you know what? I should probably clarify this as well. If Fulham went up, I think they'd spend quite a lot of money. Now, I know it won't be the same as last time. I don't think they'd go and spend £100 million um, because, you know, lessons are there to be learned from last time. I think, um, I can't remember, Jakupovic, I think his name is, um, who was the manager at the time, had sort of built something and he ripped it apart with um, a lot of money. I don't think Scott Parker would do that. He's done a fantastic job at Fulham. Um, he obviously, he came into the job at a very difficult time. I think he lost his first, like, five games in a row as well. So the fact that Fulham have stuck with him and he's done such a remarkable job is um, a credit to him. But I do think if they were to get promoted, they they would probably look at that um, area as most most teams should when you get promoted um, as a, a sort of place for investment and Alfie Mawson just hasn't had the game time at Fulham that he probably would have wanted to have had um, because of injury. Norwich City could be a great chance for him to sort of refine himself. Um, and I think that Norwich could benefit from... Um, a, I think both parties could really benefit um, from a, a season-long loan at Norwich because, one, we would benefit from, say, a quality player coming in because I do trust the coaching staff to coach him into um, being a better player. I'm not going to say a good player, a better player. Um, and also Alfie Mawson can then, say, um, Fulham whack a £20 million price tag on him. He can then go back to Fulham and have a real case to play for them um, I think everyone would just benefit from it now wages I don't know where they come into this I don't know um, if Norwich City would pay all of the wages I don't know if they pay half of them um, I think it's often the case with richer clubs that they contribute a bit of the financial uh, a bit to the financial side of the wage of course um, but at the same time it would be weird to have a player there and be paying their wage wouldn't it um, especially when they could be at a different club um, on a permanent transfer um, but I, I don't know you know from a Fulham perspective I have no idea if they want to sell him or not um, I'll probably need to do a bit of research into that maybe speak to um, a few Fulham fans see what they think of him um, but if he is to sign for Norwich that'll probably be something I do maybe get a Fulham fan to come on and give us sort of the lowdown or maybe a Swansea fan because he spent a couple of years there didn't he of course um, but yeah they're my thoughts on Alfie Mawson I'm very keen to know your thoughts in the comments down below um, I think we can all agree it would be a good signing for Norwich um, the centre back position is something we've asked for for such a long time now isn't it um and it's, it's nice to see us being tackled with a centre back um, although I, you know I, I don't really see this one happening um, definitely in terms of a permanent transfer loan why not maybe um, who knows but I'm sure we'll find out very very soon um, but yeah as I said if you could like the video I would be very very grateful if you could subscribe to the YouTube channel help us get to that 1000 subscriber mark um, I'd be equally grateful so until next time we'll see you again very very soon